All right. Happy Sunday. Welcome to another BSN Live webcast here in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me today. Today we have a like a special event. I think we're going to start planning these once a month where we can start connecting with more people on, on BSN for Pros, on Facebook, uh, social media, you name it. So you're welcome to jump in anytime. Go ahead and give me a DM or a message to join our mastermind group here in Las Vegas, BSN for Pros or find us on YouTube. So today is a special day because we're going to be talking about local businesses. How can they support the community? And today I have a special, I have two special guests. I want to introduce you, but our, our, our main guest or our main, uh, I would say our authority or someone who knows much more about networking, connecting with local businesses, Annalyn Braza. She is the vice president of the local charter here in Las Vegas of BNI, which if you guys don't know, BNI has been around for many years. They, they are, they're just a networking uh, organization that, that, that's been around. They're out there all over the world. And let's bring Annalyn on for a second. Let me introduce, and she'll say hello. Hello, Annalyn. Good morning. Hi, Ben. Good morning. Hi, Good everyone. Morning. All right. <laughs> let's let's work on the introduction. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. So uh, I am Annalyn Braza, and I am the founder and web designer of WebKitty Creative Services. I'm also the vice president of our local uh, BNI chapter, Westside Winners, here in Las Vegas. So we are going around supporting other business owners and growing their business through referrals. And I'm talking about quality referrals. We're not talking about, you know, just, hey, this is this person needs your service. No, that's not how we work. But hopefully we get to learn more today about how we also support the community. Thank you, Annalyn. I appreciate that. And, and I have another special guest, a uh, filmmaker. Uh, movie produce you you name it the guy if you are not uh paying on social media with instagram facebook he's out there uh just promoting his movie new movie called the bad boxer let me introduce you to my good friend mo mccoy good morning mo how are you good morning how you doing all right good tell us tell everyone about yourself what you're up to and let, let just just give a little introduction hey my name is uh filmmaker mo mccoy i'm a film producer uh independent uh I own a company called Fireproof TV Films. We're a full service production company. One of my personal goals is to make 100 films. I'm on uh, film number 50, and that's my movie, The Bad Boxer. We're taking it on a premiere tour, going going uh, to several cities in the United States to, to show the movie and do like uh, red carpet events. So more information about that at redcarpetevent.info. Well, thank you, Mo. I appreciate you coming in. Make sure you guys, if you guys are watching this live or you're watching on YouTube, you can put in the comments, hashtag replay, hashtag hello, what's going on? Just give it a hi in the comments below. So let's just bring everyone in on the floor. Uh, is everyone hearing me okay? Yep. All right. So let's open the table up. I'm going to leave it up to you. I'm going to open it up for you, uh, Annalyn, because you are the, the, I would say the expert, right? The expert in, in what we're going to talk about. And we're talking about how local business can support the community. Uh, so let's let's go into you. What what's what, what are your thoughts and what what can people or local businesses go out there? I'm not an, I'm, I don't have a business. I, I'm a I'm a you know just uh, I'm an I'm I'm trying to be an entrepreneur. I'm trying to to work on really building my like my personal business, personal brand. I'm a sales guy. I love connecting with people. I work for. I you know I've always been in sales. But but how can but you're out there working with local businesses out here in Las Vegas. So let's talk about that. Or how can even someone like myself or Mo go out there and really connect with the community? Oh well uh first off to start off you don't try anything. You either are being doing or having. So um one of the greatest idea, you know, big picture thinking is when if every business can support a community let's say every business can support a nonprofit, you know every month every business can engage so just like social media engagement is everything engagement your likes your comments the shares it is everything and so if a business is supporting a nonprofit or engaging in some sort of community project every month i mean that's that's already that business is already very valuable to the community and to the people that they serve. So those are important things to think about. And with me being as part of the chapter for BNI West Side Winners, we are growing our chapter to include education, lifelong learning, and the core values that BNI represents, which, which is giver's gain. 
So, you know, what we're giving, what energy we're giving forward, we're going to get back. So whatever we're doing for the community, I'm, you know, it's a guarantee that you're going to get something back from that, whether it's recognition about your company, whether, you know, and, and companies are built successfully through these business relationships with these business owners. So, you know, who you know is how you're going to be successful. So I totally agree. I'm going to bring Mo in the conversation. Mo, I appreciate you, my friend. Now, you as a local, uh, as a filmmaker, when you start, you're working with a lot of local businesses out there. You are out there. You, you're like, I would say you're networking to make those relationships. Tell us like a little bit about uh, what, like what you do or how you communicate or how you talk to people because you have to get support from them to support your projects in some cases, Absolutely. right? You have to. So tell us a little bit how, what, like just your experiences or just tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, <clears throat> one, one way is uh, I like to go to events and then at the event, my job is to speak to everybody in the room, not just the people that are, uh, that are visually pleasing. You know, I just think about, okay, somebody in here could possibly need my help putting their business into a film or on you know on video you know and so i just talk to everybody i just go right up to them and introduce myself hi my name is filmmaker mo mccoy um i'm a local filmmaker here working on movies and stuff like that what do you do and then that sparks the conversation and and we talk and I love learning about uh, other people's businesses and stuff like that. So it works out pretty good. And and um, it's just, you know, it's just about meeting one new person a day to me, you know, meet one person. And now that person is aware of what you do. And, and so it's just basically grassroots. And and I'm always wearing my my company. So I'll, I'll wear my my logo everywhere i go so then that that's a good thing to get people to ask questions i i have my own line of hats that i wear and people love to ask me about those hats and and then that just jumps off the conversation and and not just uh just meeting people but you gotta you gotta follow up with them and uh, and you know just stay in communication just lock in that relationship it's it's not like that you know i immediately want something from them i just want to get their awareness onto what what i'm doing and learn more about what they're doing because i don't know how i can help them until you know i know what they're doing i got you, I got you. Yeah. all right so we're going to bring everyone on the floor here so we're, okay so annalyn Let's talk about challenges um, about the community and about uh, just how support. What do you what do you think are the challenges that uh, local business business owners are having, or local businesses that what what are like some of the maybe excuses, right? That people say why why they can't do what they so go out there support the community. What do, what do you what do you hear? Well, some of the challenges that I've seen a lot of people face is because we're just coming out of the whole pandemic situation. You know, during the pandemic, a lot of locations, a lot of businesses had to close down. So what are they doing that's kind of um, helping them get back up or starting themselves up again or just getting back on track? So it, it kind of made us kind of take a look, take a step back from everything and just to kind of like, you know, strategize. Like it's a great time to strategize is when you're on vacation, when you're, you know, well, not necessarily on vacation. Like if, if you're sick for a week. You know, even take care of yourself, of course, but also think about what you can do better because now's the time for you to slow down and actually think about. So one of the issues that some nonprofits have, and this is my experience, just me being in that situation, is that they, before the pandemic, they had all of these clients, all these customers, donors, all of that. And then after the pandemic, all of a sudden, almost half a percentage of them are gone or they're no longer part of the, you know, part of the group or that relationship was never um, nurtured throughout the whole time. So now they're gone, you know. So now the nonprofits or organization are like, well, we used to have volunteers or we used to have these donors, but now they're gone. What did we do wrong? Well, just think about it. You know, during the pandemic, we never really sent out emails. We didn't send out any cards. 
you know, so same thing with building that business relationship. When you meet someone at a networking event, how are you keeping that relationship? Yeah, you get their business card. You have a, an awesome, amazing chat. Then you go and follow up and say, hey, let's meet on Zoom or let's meet for coffee. And then all of a sudden that person was no longer, you no longer contact that person. Why? What was it that, that stopped you from doing that? So it's really important, you know, it's really important. And I, and I, you know, agree with Mo, follow up is important. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Cause sometimes well, you go to that mixer and you're like, you're getting all these business cards, but are you sending these people emails and saying, Hey, it was great meeting you at the networking event. Maybe you got distracted and you just forgot. So those are kind of things we have to think about. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. I totally have to agree that. That and think about that. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the continuation of the relationship, right? Mo, mm -hmm. uh, let's bring it back to you. The continuation of the relationship, like the follow up, like keeping that connection. What, what, what are the things that you, I would say? Because I want it's really easy to ask questions and say, "Hey, how do you do that?" or "What's your secret right. sauce?" But I want to say, like, what's something that someone has done to you to like, like, like like irritate you in a way where like, it's not, it's, it doesn't work, right? Like sometimes some relationships don't work. Um, someone maybe try to continue in and say, Hey, they, maybe they, maybe they failed at, at the, at, at the, um, communication. Like they said, Oh, you know, let's talk because we, cause it's so easy to say, Oh, you know what, what's the secret? Oh, I'm going to follow up a text once a week. But like, literally what, what, what has someone done to you personally? Because I know you've had a lot of experiences where you're like, Hey man, like this guy's just messaging me like every other day, or this guy just messaged me six months later. Now he wants a thousand dollars. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I've had a a, a lot of different um, instances that that I could talk about. Uh, I think um, one thing is uh, what I I don't like is when when you are communicating with somebody and then they don't communicate back you know what i mean in a timely matter like um you, you when you when you message somebody on a messenger they can see it you can see they saw it but then they don't respond i mean it's not that everyone has to respond quickly like that but it just it's just a mutual respect when somebody's talking to you and uh, uh you know sometimes you gotta just lay back if if they're not answering I just move on to the next person you know what i mean but at least i did what i was there to do i, I was there to uh spark the communication and and keep it going and, and try to see if we can work something out but um it's not all the time that that uh people are interested in. and then you got some people that that would blow your your uh inbox up before you can respond so you know on the on the other hand i, I have people <laughs> who would just send me 1000 messages or very very long text mex messages i'm not going to read it i'm, I'm going to uh, it's it's just too much to consume so much online every day and then actually have to live out here in the real world you know what i mean so quick quick small short messages whew, that's easy but um those big long long messages I, i'm not going to spend I, 10 minutes I, reading <laughs> i totally agree with you man i i can't i i, I get messages like this long i'm like, I'm like huh, i can't even i don't have time to read that and the one i yeah. the one I, I i don't mind getting voice messages on in my inst in my messenger or whatever or voicemails right from people that i know or people i'm expecting from but i've never met you if we never had a conversation like I, something i could have read in two seconds i'll have like a message a voice message and it's like and it's a pitch right like hey man i really like your phone <laughs> like, I was having that conversation i was like mo like if you go into a networking event and someone just goes up to you and hands you a business card and say i do this do this do this, do this are you even gonna want to listen you're just gonna start walking away he was like okay um you could have asked what my how my day was or how i might you know so i i feel like networking is more about if we enter into that situation we should enter with intention of giving something to them. Mm -hmm. Like I enter in a situation where it's like, hey, how's it going? Uh, how's your day going? You know, oh, you're a CPA. You know, if, if they start talking and say, yeah, this is what I do. I'm a CPA. Oh, you're a CPA. Shoot. I have some friends that I can introduce you to. So you're already giving something right there. I have friends that I can introduce you to and they're willing to give you referrals to grow your business if you're interested. 
you know, and that's just the kind of environment that I like being in. And those are the networkings that I want to go to. I don't want to hear about your services because I might not align with it, but I might know people that do, but I got to trust you first before I can give you that. Right. And that's kind of the attitude you have to bring into the networking scene. You know what I mean? So building relationships is important. So if you approach a situation where you're just talking about yourself, no one's going to listen. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I was watching this YouTube video. This guy's a realtor. He was set, he was calling. He was calling, and he was talking. He goes, he goes. My only goal is just to have a good conversation. That's it. It's like I'm not trying to sell it. I just want to have a good conversation. And you know, and people are like standoffish. I, I mean, his he's he wants to sell houses. I get it. Um, but he goes, I goes, my goal is just to have just a good conversation. Because like if I can have just one good conversation during okay. these calls, I, I think he's like, I, I, and he's already, a, he's already done well. And I think it's the same way, right? Just having a good, just to have a good conversation and, 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 and talking about who you are, what you're doing, your life, your family. And then this yeah. like this motion, right? Everything gets kind of weird. If all of a sudden I'm like, Hey, this is, my name is Ben. Um, I'm selling these, you know, I was going, I'm, I'm selling these tapes. Would you like to buy some tape? You're like, I don't like tape, man. <laughs> You're going to run out every time you go on the move. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, guys. Um, Mo, I want to bring it back to you, Mo. Um, with your movie, with the, with the uh, movies, how, how are you working with businesses? And how are you working? Because you are out there, um, like, can you share a story with like just about like a time that you worked with a um, a local business? Let's, you don't have to name any names, right? Just local bit local business, and it turned out to it, it made it success. Like what you had to do or what you did, and then all of a sudden things worked out in your favor. Like it, it, it like okay, like I got nervous. Things could, could have gone bad, but I know you have some good stories. So can you t share a story with us? <clears throat> I got a great one. Uh, uh, we we decided to do free online uh business videos to just get businesses more exposure to our audience and so um i, I volunteered to do one for um jamming on vegas a local a local um tie-dye business in um in las vegas and uh we went and we spent the whole day working alongside of them uh, while they were making tie-dye shirts uh they were doing a big order for planet 13 and uh we we uh filmed did a lot of b-roll uh interviews interviewed every every employee and then we um we did the editing right there on on the spot just uh to do to work side by side with them doing what we do and let them do what they do and we we created a video and they loved it so much that um net the next week later they came back and paid us <laughs> a nice amount for the video and so that that was pretty cool you know what i mean i wasn't there to um to get paid i was there to to just show what we can do and and get that business out there to our audience so um you know it just goes to show you know uh you don't have to get paid every time you go do something you know you know give one one of your business items or services away and then you know like she said like anna said there you know that's giving and you receive <laughs> it yeah makes sense. I, I, I want to bring it back to yeah. anna lynn because she's out there working with nonprofits, and she gives a lot of her time and she's mm -hmm. super focused on the nonprofits uh side of it right so anna lynn i want to i really want to focus on the on the nonprofits. what nonprofits are you working with and what are you what are you doing with the nonprofits? Like share about that because I think more people need to know about that. Sure. So one of the nonprofits that I work with is Global Charity Foundation. And what they support is that all their donations go straight to educational programs for Las Vegas for you know children from K-12 to high school now um, to get them educated because there are there are sixth graders out there that are reading in a third grade level. Okay, so it makes no sense. You know, let's catch them up. So these educational programs help those at-risk youth to kind of get them back on track. So it's very important. Education is important, especially for the children around here. Um, they also do healthcare programs. So they're doing cancer treatments for children in India. The founder, um, Dr. Rita Thukral, she actually is from India. 
So she supports, you know, the, the children that are in India who have cancer, who can't afford a regular hospital or treatment from, from doctors and uh, amazing doctors and stuff. And these are kids that live out in the streets, you know. Um, so she loves helping those kind of people. I also support a local non-chapter called Joy, the Joy Academy. So the Joy Academy, what they do is they help a lot of families, their children um, kind of get into like doing stuff like gardening, um, getting them productive. So it's more of a lifelong learning kind of uh, environment. And myself as being a lifelong learner, where I like joined the ROTC in, in high school, I joined, um, you know, all these after school activities because I just want to continue to learn and learn and learn. So these are very important uh, nonprofits. I mean, there are so many out there. There's cat rescues, you know, animal rescues. If you really love animals, put yourself engaged with that, that type of nonprofit. Put yourself in there and volunteer. You know, if, if you want to feed if you want to feed the hungry people or feed the homeless once a month. I worked with, with um, Mark Saint back in the day when, I don't know if he's still doing this now, but every month he would have a feed the homeless day where he goes out there in the streets and he brings clothing and they, and they bring food and people are donating to help these people, you know, bringing water out there. It's hot out here in Vegas. So those are just certain things. So if you are just sitting at home bored watching Netflix, Let's do something for the community. We can put our energy out there, just like Mo does. He put his energy out there. He wasn't expecting himself to get paid for it. I didn't either when I first started my business. I was giving away free websites, you know, but it started a foundation for me. It brought me together with the community and it helped me get out there. People know about me because of it. So it's very important. Yeah. Hey Mo, what 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 are you what what nonprofits? I know you're working up. I know you're busy, man. What what what's your support like? If you said if I excel this and then said, you, let's say you, you made a movie, I and mean, you made make you do make movies, and let's say one day you got like a million dollar check, right? And I know before I know you got to like buy some new shoes, some new shirts, and stuff. But, but like let's say like there's something that that you said you know I, I want to go out and support something, or you already are. What's what's your passion? What's out there? What's out there in the community here in Las Vegas that you see that like that needs more support? Every week uh, in the inner city there in Las Vegas, I definitely would support them more and and just. Uh, you know, have, having a million dollar check would kind of free up my time even more. So I'd, I'd be more hands on down there. And uh, I'd, I also help Feed and Read. There's a nonprofit organization that gives away children's books and uh, all over the country. Uh, Feed and Read, it, it's, a, it's a great thing because, uh, you know, reading is, is fundamental and, and eating healthy is how you learn. So, um, I think that that's a great thing. I'm also involved with water. I got my own uh, water brand. It's called um, Mo Water. And it, it's just a, a brand where I approve different water. I, when I was in Houston, I worked with an alkaline company and I tested tested the different waters and what was good and, and what was uh, not good. <laughs> so the, you know, the waters that I tested that are good, I put the Mo Water stamp on there. You know, eventually that's going to be a, a company with, with our own water as well, because I think, you know, in the desert, that's a, a very um, thing that people need. And uh, we also deal with mental mental health. Our movie Frequent Visitors that's on Tubi is about uh, mental health awareness. And we have our own um, uh, nonprofit organization that we're we're starting and it's called uh, uh, sh expose shame and it's uh share share uh, share honestly and motivate everyone you know so we you know talk to people when they're having a mental breakdown and things like that so you know i i, I love giving back and that i think that's what we're gonna do for a long time and, and even with even with movies I give new people opportunity to be in a movie. You know, uh, other people 
I mean, other film companies don't. You, you got to audition and hope that you get in. With us, we everybody that comes to our events, they get casted into our films, even if it's their first time. And we we are, we're able to teach, you know, them how to act and, and you know get on the get on the screen. So it, it's a lot of fun. I think something we all have in common is that we care about the the, the, our, the kids, right? I think it's about kids, mm -hmm. um, children. I have three daughters myself, and I, and then you talk about mental health, and you talk about mm -hmm. the, the what's happening today in the world. I and you and you, and you hit a big. You just like woke me up a little bit, Mo, when you said mental health. Mm -hmm. I, I do believe children today need a lot of guidance more than ever because how the world is working, right? There's so much stimulation there's so much um they're exposed to a lot of things you're exposed to much i remember when i was a kid like i, I was just it was my bike and my gi joes and and the dirt and the mud <laughs> that's all i had really and then, uh, like, you know it's like hey when the lights turn on that's when you come home we didn't have cell phones yeah, or yeah. Like and then that. my kids now they know so much more they, the conver i have a seven-year-old and the conversations i have to explain to her uh, I don't, I, I don't talk to her like a little kid. I have to really make sure that I say the right, it's like almost, um, I have to simp it's like simplifying, simplifying a communication with her as an adult, right? Cause she, I'm like, man, this kid's smart. You know, the kids are smarter nowadays, but they're absorbing so much information. Mm -hmm. But I think it, it, that may be part of the whole mental, this is me, mm -hmm. part of the mental health is they're absorbing, they're, 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 they're sponges, yeah. right? And, and what happens is that our brain just keeps it's, it's spinning so much. That's why we have these little spinners and things. We just like lose a lot of focus. Yeah. There's still so much going on. You yeah. know, you're listening to your mom, you're watching your tablet, you know, you're playing video games, whatever it is. You have to go to school. It's like we're being pushed to do so much all the time. Yeah. You know, we don't get to take a step back. The only time we can take a step back is if our family takes us fishing. When do they have time to do that? They're always working, working, working because yeah. they're trying to stay on top of the bills, trying to put clothes on our back, feed us. True. You know? True. No, I, I agree. There's an expectation in the parent as parents, or you know, a lot of us we have kids and we're like, even if you talk about feeding, right? We talk about reading, you talked about um, you know, we 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 some parents just okay, I can't feed the kids, I don't want to cook, I'll go right to the drive thru, right? And then they're eating. And I've done it. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty. I'm like, like uh, I'll just take it to the drive thru instead of going home. And and you know, even if it's simple, of putting a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I'm like, okay, we'll just go to the drive thru, and you guys will we'll do that. Hot um, pot Just put it in the night before, and then you got food the next day. Yeah, yeah. And it's, <laughs> and it's just about just having those conversations. And I I do believe the more we talk about it, the more we're aware of it, and. Uh, it, 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 it it's it's not many people want to admit that they're not that uh, that that they um that they're living like this perfect i'm not living this perfect life i'm telling you that, that we make mistakes all the time uh i'm not like i'm not I'm, i i didn't I, and i watched the social and i here's the thing about the social media and i, and I stepped back a little bit because i didn't want to portray myself as this person that's doing everything right or has all the answers or like I'm living this grand life. I really wanted to be as authentic as it is and going, hey, you know what? I hit a wall. This is my struggle. I'm going through this. This is what I went with my kids. Um, and, and and there's there's I admit to you that, that you know like that whole uh, the the social media thing or not even social but the technology right the technology really does affect their mind and I'm and I'm seeing and I see that yeah. and I do have to put those walls uh, on them. So um, anything else you guys want to talk about? Well, mental health was definitely a good conversation to talk about. Because yeah, we should bring that up. What do you think about that, Mo? Maybe we'll do that next month. We'll talk about we mental should. health. We should. We should definitely bring it yeah, up. Yeah, we should talk about mental health. health. Maybe, no, create some, mm -hmm. you know, help people create some strategies around that. What what can really make a difference? Yeah. Like, you know, before I start my day, I do journal writing. I meditate. Or I do yoga in the morning. Sometimes I do it before I go to bed because it just calms my mind before I go to bed. You know, just things like that. And, and it's really it's really important to put just those extra five to 10 minutes in your in your routine to kind of get you back on track, you know, slow you down a little bit. And it doesn't work for everyone. Everyone has a, a way of doing it the way that they want to do it. You know, maybe just going for a walk in the morning, taking their dog out, going for a walk, having a smoke break, whatever, you know, 
those kinds of things. So whenever you have a time to actually think or at least be by yourself, that's like the most important thing. Everybody doesn't want to be by themselves anymore. It's like, I want to be with somebody or somebody has to be here. Somebody has to sleep next to me or somebody, you know, I got to have my hands held. Well, it's, you can't go on like that. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, when it comes to mental health, it's really important to uh, really focus you know, on that. And some people need guidance. So be that person, be their guidance. Yeah. Mo, I any thoughts on that? Agree. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, uh, what they taught me in, in school at Full Sail in a uh, university, they said to do a digital detox, you know, disconnect from your phone, your computer, your TV, go do something else in, na in nature. Um, when I when I'm in Michigan, I go walk at this park. I call it McCoy Park. Uh, you know, I'm visualizing it as my my own park. You know what I mean? And I go out there and just connect with the nature, walk around, look at the water, and and, and that just just you know frees me up. It feels good. You know what I mean? To to just disconnect from your from your digital <laughs> things that are draining you. You know and meditation is great exercise is another thing that helps no, it's true yeah. power your brain you know what i mean so yeah i, I fall i guys like i said I, you know we get caught up in these things and i'll be honest with you like uh you know i i've been starting a new job and and i haven't like my exercises i haven't exercised as much as i should be doing uh your diet changes when we start new, I, I really want to bring in mental health next time we have a couple mental health working to get working and how like we can just find the time because what well, we can always say oh i'm really busy right i gotta go back to work i gotta keep working and then i'm like i'll be on my desk for like you know eight to ten, eight hours and i'll just my my exercise will be just around to the kitchen get some water and come back <laughs> i'm like oh that was my work that was my workout and then i'm like i'm like by the end of the day i'm like oh i'm too tired uh but it's it, again it's good to bring up so but that guys thank you so much for your time we'll talk about i think this is a great subject next time we'll bring up is mental health yeah and just kind of like really for ourselves and for our kids right for ourselves and for the kids and we'll tie it in with like what what um what what projects are out there that we can go out and just give shout outs to or, or connect or find out you know like what what who's out there doing doing that so all right with that guys thank you so much have a great week. Make sure if you guys are watching this live, you give it a little replay, hashtag replace it. Hello. Make sure you give Anna Lynn Braza a, a, a like on Facebook. Give her a, a request. Momoko, you find him on social media. Get, you guys want to give any shout outs before we go? Yes, yes. I, I, I want to say uh, we're, we're on a tour right now. I'm in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Next stop is uh, uh, Chicago, Illinois. We can uh, use your help at blessthetour.com. You can be a part of it. Everybody that donates will get um, a shout out on the on the actual content that we're making for the tour. We're making a movie on tour. So it's, it's, uh, it's awesome, man. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Thank Anything you want to say, Annalyn, before we go? Well, I just want to say that we have another Vegan Wonderland Las Vegas event coming out. Um, June 25th, it's going to be a night event and it's market and they're going to have yoga. They're going to have, you know, a lot of markets, vegan food vendors and all of the people that you could ever meet that is supporting the community right now. So definitely come out, check out veganwonderlandlv.com and just watch for updates there. All right. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one.